Hello, it's the 4th of September today. Uh, and as you can see, the sun is shining, it's wonderful. So I'm back up the allotment and what I'm gonna do today is you can see behind me here are my globe artichokes. <clears throat> now, I have I grew these from seeds years and years ago um, and they're perennials, which means they come up every single year. Um, I've never actually harvested the heads before, the, the bits. I always leave them to go to this beautiful purple flower because the bees love it so much and anything to to sort of attract the bees to the allotment is always a good thing. I'm sure I will harvest them um, and actually eat the artichoke hearts one year um, but at the moment it's just something that brings in the bees. We do actually have bees um, we have hives, I think we have four or five hives actually, it might be even more, over in the far corner which is fabulous. Um, but just to sort of say come to my plot, um, that's why I leave them. But once the flowers have finished, the bees will no longer come to them, the plants then go brown and they just need to be chopped right back to ground level and they'll hibernate over the winter and then spring next year they'll start to come back. Um, so what I'm going to do is just chop any of the old leaves and stems off. Now I've got to be quite careful here because I've got a pumpkin from the bed next door has decided that it actually wants to come and, um, <laughs> and play as well. So I'll gently push that, that back and as you can, hopefully you can see all the leaves are brown uh, so it's not going to grow anymore, so we'll just, we'll just chop it. So right on the ground level, or maybe half an inch above, um, just like this. It can be quite tough, so be aware. So I've just chopped this one off. I don't know if you can see, there's one here and one there, and they were from previous years. Um, but then the plant will start shooting up. In fact, if you look, let me just remove these weeds. If you look very carefully there, can you see that? I hope you can. There's another leaf, the new leaves starting to come up. Um, they may well come up this year. If they do um, and it gets cold, they might die back um, and then new ones will come up. But they will just expand and get bigger and bigger and bigger every year. Globe artichokes chokes are beautiful, absolutely fabulous. They make lovely hedges as well, actually. If you um, want to, to have a, a hedge in your, um, in your garden. Um, so, so pretty. But, gosh, this was a big one. Oh, it's wild. Very heavy. If you look in there, look, you can see it's completely and utterly dead there. So it's not going to grow anymore. So I'll just carry on. I don't have many to do. I have a few. Um, and I will see you in a bit. Now I showed you a, a leaf on a previous one that was just poking through. This one here, as you can see, is quite large. Now <laughs> these leaves may not die back during um, the winter. It depends how cold it gets. If we have quite a sort of um, a mild winter like we had last time, last year, um, they didn't die back and they, they still kept going. You won't get any more um, artichoke heads that come up, they won't come up until it gets nice and warm. Um, but these, depending on the weather, these could stay green all the way through the winter. Um, or if we do have a very, very hard winter, um, then they will die back. But if they do, if the new leaves die back, don't worry, because um, once it warms up again, you'll get a load more shoots. But they will just keep getting bigger and bigger. Sowing them from seed is very, very easy. Um, unbelievably easy. A lot of people think that they're Mediterranean plants, but they're not. I mean, if I can grow them in the south of the UK, um, and we sometimes have really atrocious summers, um, then you could grow them <laughs> anywhere, really. Uh, very easy. Look on a previous um, film and, and you can see. Um, but uh, that's the artichoke. So I will just uh, carry on weeding and then I will put a load of manure down, surround them with manure 
um, and then that will keep them going um, and keep them fed so that next year they'll come up and they'll be just as beautiful if not more so. I've got a few more minutes left so I'm going to start this bed. Um, this is the asparagus. Uh, the asparagus did very well this year. Um, it was its... I think it was its second or its third year. Um, so some of them are starting to get really really fat but I still haven't picked them. Once you plant, plant asparagus you kind of need to let it sit and grow and get established for about two to three years. Look on the third year if if the um, asparagus spears aren't fat then just leave it and wait till the next year which I think next year I will be ready to harvest my first lot of asparagus. I'm very excited about that. But if they're very thin and spindly just leave them to go up into their fronds like this okay because this helps them produce more underneath the following year uh, it looks absolutely gorgeous I think it's wonderful don't cut this down until it's brown all right um, as you can see around the outside the grass has got quite um, long I'll have to get my shears out but that could be fun because the handles broken on my shears um, but what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to start weeding it um, because it's always best to keep your asparagus bed free of weeds. There is a sunflower in there which has got very top heavy and um, I'm sure you can see it's sort of falling over. So I will try and prop that up again. As, but I don't have much time before I've got to go so I'll see how far I get um, and um, continue another day. Time's getting on, I've got to go, but I've made a start on the asparagus bed. Um, I've trimmed a load of the grass down. I've managed to get the sunflower upright. It's very, very heavy, um, but I, I, I need to go and fix those. Uh, I think I've got the little piece of wood, so um, I think a bit of gaffer tape, because I don't really want to have to go and buy some more, because these are really good, apart from the handle bit that broke off. Oh, and the green bit's gone. Oh. I'm sure I can uh, figure out a way to uh, to put it back together so that they'll work again. Um, but yes, keep your asparagus as weed free as you possibly can. I know that's incredibly difficult. When I said about letting it rest for like or get settled in the soil for about three years, that's really if you sow it from seed, which is what I did. If you get the asparagus roots in, um, in a packet, um, which you can find in a polythene packet with some soil in them. They may well only need to sort of get established for a couple of years before you can, um, one or two years before you, you start to harvest. Um, it just just depends. So just keep an eye on them. If the, the spears when they come up are skinny, just leave them and then try again the following year. Okay, well I hope you've found that interesting. That's what I got up to today and I will see you again next time. Bye-bye.